Last week we ripped SC. This week let's give credit where credit is due. Even though it was tough for Lane Kiffin to part ways with his father Monty who ran the defense last year, the move is paying off. Clancy, Pendergrass, Trojans defense have allowed only two touchdowns in three games. As the Buckeyes host Mighty Florida, A&M this week, Braxton Miller has been upgraded to probable. Good for Braxton, but the fact is, the team has done better with Kenny Guyton at the helm. Percentage-wise, they've scored more often, converted more on third down, and taking fewer sacks, despite Guyton dropping back almost 30 times more than Miller. The gigantic Blake Bell has been named the starter for the Sooners game against Notre Dame next week. We knew he could do this. He takes the snap, gets to about the two, at the one, end zone, touchdown, the Belldozer does it again. Turns out he can do this as well. Bell throws, and he gets the catch into the end zone touchdown. In fact, in Saturday's win over Tulsa, Bell passed for more yards than any quarterback in Oklahoma history making his first start. I'm looking at you, Sam Bradford. One thing we know, Brett Bielma brought to Little Rock, aside from his wife's collection of Razorback snouts, was his love of the running game. And true freshman Alex Collins is making the most of it. Collins has three straight games of better than 100 yards rushing. You know who didn't do that? Marcus Lattimore, Darren McFadden, Cadillac Williams, Emmett Smith, or Herschel Walker. Five, 10, 12, he's running all over people. Oh, you Herschel Walker. Time for a new feature on the Mayday Minute. Good team, bad stat. This week we have three winners. First, Michigan, who despite being 3-0 and is ranked 120th in turnovers. Texas Tech, also 3-0, and but 87th in red zone efficiency. And the big one. Alabama. The tied currently 86 in the nation in team defense? That's enough to make Nick Saban very hot. Or as Bo Pelini might say. I've returned to kick for a touchdown this season. This is a college football atmosphere that those in the New York City area never imagined they would see at Rutgers way back when. But then Greg Schiano came on the scene. The program took a big step forward. Of course, the famous Thursday night win in this building over Louisville. Pandemonium at Piscataway. And a line drive kick gets us started. And fielded our short hop by Pratt. And he is Wallace at the 20-yard line. Coleman in motion. First and goal for the Scarlet Knights. And a fumble. It's on the deck and it's picked up by Arkansas. Now remember, he didn't have a lot of practice this week. Didn't have a lot of contact or any contact, so to speak. So this is the first time he was looking at the possibility of running the football and having some contact. And the ball comes out. Backfield on first and ten. Paul James, one of the wideouts to the far side left. And an empty backfield means no protection for Gary Nova. Part of it is, how do you protect? Do you use max protect or not? Here, you only have five guys protecting. You will look, take a look right here on the right side tackle. Tight end goes up. Now you've got the tackle way outside, gets beat, and then there's pressure up inside. He struggled lately. His career average, 56%. And this one will miss. That may have been deflected. From Federico, here's another look, only 32 yards out, but you've got to elevate it over the six foot ten offensive lineman. And Rutgers now, Rod, two trips into the red zone, not even a field goal, yes. zero yes. points yes. in the shotgun on third and three. Up the seam, and he's got a first down. There's his first completion of the day, and look at the job by Keon Hatcher to drag tacklers out to the 45 yard line. Injuries continue to be a big wow. story in college football, and there's a big one to keep our eyes on. Down in Gainesville. And here's a big run to keep your eyes on. Jonathan Williams close to another Arkansas first down. Now Sam Irwin Hill. And this might be a fake. Is it a rugby style kick? No, it's a pass. Wide open down the sideline. The fake punt works perfectly. That's a gain of 24 on the fake punt. Nelvis and Hartfield out there in the flat. And boy, did he come free. He was in the middle of the lineup, just to the right side. And because they had so many guys lined up to the right side of the formation, the Rutgers had no idea that guy could sneak out. Nice and smooth for Hawker. The number one scorer in Arkansas history, tacks on three more. 312 career points for Zach Hawker. 
and he has the first three in our game today as Arkansas has the lead. So back to the offense for Rutgers, and here's Phylon again. That's his second sack as he brings down Gary Nova, a loss of nine back to the 16. Well, that's, that's at least the third time that he's been hit. Sacked twice, 91 Phylon from the right side. Good swim move, just blows right by. Looks like that was uh, Johnson that he blew by, the left guard. Field position, they're on the board, and it's 3-0 Razorbacks. And now Nova, pressure in his face again, throws the interception, picked up by Tevin Mitchell. Down the sideline, Mitchell blockers out in front, inside the pylon, that's a defensive touchdown for the Razorbacks, and they've got a two-score lead. Well, this is another big hit on Nova, knocks his helmet off. You know, that's about the fourth hit he's taken in this ball game. Two sacks, and we had concerns about him coming into this ball game. He was concussed last week, taken out in the first quarter, and that's another big hit. And again, protecting the quarterback. That's a huge, huge issue, particularly this season. Second down and eight, play action for A.J. Derby. And he has a man wide open up the sideline. The slant, high throw, hauled in, batted around, and somehow on his back, it looks like Hawkins found the football. Quiet the next two games, but Rutgers didn't have to throw the ball too much. Now a broken play, and the ball might be on the ground. We got it. Another sloppy play to the right side to find Croft. Play action for Nova. He is in trouble, trying to use the stiff arm and can't get away. Chris Smith wasn't fooled. And that is a sack of close to 15 yards on the loss. The third sack here in the first half for Arkansas. He is seventh on the Arkansas career list in sacks. There he is right there. Watch him. No fooling him whatsoever. 18 and a half sacks now on the career for Chris Smith. Here he just runs right by that linebacker. Nice toss and Rutgers offense has come to life again. First down and a lot more. Out to the 45-yard line. So good, a couple of good, strong run plays. Play action for Derby. Floats one to the sideline. Finds a soft spot. Terrific throw to the tight end, Hunter Henry. A cup of coffee as a retro freshman at Iowa. Now they try the end around again to Keon Hatcher. And it works again. Breaking tackles. That's good for another Arkansas first down. Piero Small, the fullback, shifting into the straight-up eye on second and 11. Play action for A.J. Derby. He wants the end zone. Fought for and won by Javante Herndon. What a catch by Herndon. A basketball box out in the end zone for the touchdown. The only place he could make the play and not worry about it, the underthrow for the pick. He beats the defensive back, gets to the corner. Uh, he's a low press coverage. He beats it right off the line of scrimmage. All you got to do is give him a chance. And Derby does it. Gotta like that throw. Derby and Nova to throw on his first play in the second half, and that's tipped and knocked down. Top of your screen, wide right, Brandon Coleman. And Nova, yeah, the ball pops out again. And it looks like Arkansas has it, and they do. The pressure gets to Gary Nova. Trey Flowers knocked it out. In the short situation, but not here. I mean, now he's got to take a five-step drop. Trey Flowers comes around the end, just works the tackle. Taj Alexander on that side. And Chris Smith is right there to pick it up. And we talked about it. You cannot block this front with just five guys. Williams is going to throw the football on the option. Touchdown. Hunter Henry on the option pass from Jonathan Williams. Trickeration after the turnover, and another touchdown for Arkansas. You're going to get the toss with the halfback option. It is a staple. There he is. Everybody rushes up thinking toss sweep, and you throw the halfback pass over it. A terrific drive to start off the second half for Arkansas. We've seen a little bit of everything from the Razorbacks, and now they've got a big lead. Hogan's on second and ten. Popped behind the line and dropped again. 
rugby style kick. And it hooks to the far side of the field. It's actually Grant that will field it at the 42. He's got some speed. What a cutback. Jamarian Grant. It's a special teams touchdown. And Rutgers is back in it. Look, but the tight ends have been at times his most dangerous receivers. Instead, it's a handoff to Alex Collins, and there he goes. Collins into the secondary. And that is a big, momentum-changing, stabilizing run. Can get it down deep inside the 15-yard line. Why not let your defense go play if you're Arkansas? And that's a really nice-looking part. Fielded at about the 11-yard line. Grant goes backwards. And Eric Legrand now, not only with his number retired, but also the radio analyst on Rutgers broadcasts. Still an inspiration to this program. Fourth quarter coming up. 44-yard gain. Rutgers in business. Nova with a blitz coming. Goes down. And the blitz works. Martrell Spate. Gary Nova got some protection. That was all they needed to find Carew outside, beating the man coverage, and just drops it into the corner exactly where Carew could get in. Boys, we've got ourselves a finish. AJ Derby, second down and eight to the sideline. Well done. Breaking tackles is Kiaro Small, and he picks up a first down. How about Carew putting the defensive back on his back, getting inside, showing the target, and then digging down low to get this ball with a great low throw by Nova. Rutgers with the comeback. They've got the lead. He is at the top of your screen. Derby instead looks to the bottom. And he finds a man spinning out to the 45-yard line as Keon Hatcher. They are wow. lining up to run a play. It's another handoff. <laughs> Brought down by Arkansas, and that will officially do it. What a comeback for Rutgers. 28-24. The Scarlet Knights get a home win over Arkansas. Coming up next, our college football scoreboard show. A terrific scene here in Piscataway. The blackout becomes a standing ovation as Rutgers wins it 28-24. Now back to Reese Davis in our ESPN studios.